Okay, here we go with the next part. Um, this time we're going to look at the contents of the dedicated INI. Okay, so at the moment, from the previous tutorial, was just completely blank. Now, if you go to the GP Bikes forum under the general um, section um, and documentation, you can find a an example of the dedicated any text. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that in here, which will allow us to talk through each part. Okay, and give you some working examples. Okay, so first of all, it's got to be called connection. The name, the name is the name of the server, as it will be seen in the server list, both inside the game and at the online server um, list. Okay, so we're going to call this um, GP Bikes Server. Um, maximum amount of clients. Okay, that's going to depend on your bandwidth. Basically, um, 24 is generally the standard amount, um, but you can put in up to 50. Um, password. The password will. You can protect it so that only people you invite can um, join. Okay, if you're going to leave anything blank, it's a good idea to put a semicolon. Uh, but I can put a note behind there then which won't affect it um, so this is the joining password um, then you've got the admin password okay so the admin password is different in that you join the server and you can control the sessions um, if you're not an admin and you've left on the ability to allow polling then people can click the session and if if um, you know if it more than 50 50 agree with whatever the poll is then the session will change but with the admin it only takes the admin um, and one click and it will s move on straight away okay so just as a note for myself there I'm gonna put admin password Pass word even. Okay, bandwidth again, roughly based on your own bandwidth um, of the server that you're setting up on. Okay, if it's a good one and you can have lots of people join it, then um, put two. I don't know of any servers at the moment which are running less than two um, because generally. Uh, the bandwidth is pretty good nowadays. Maximum ping, um, you can limit the maximum ping if you like. Uh, I don't think any servers are using this at the moment. I did try it once, but it's uh, very fickle, and by that I mean that if someone who's normally got a ping of 30 suddenly uh, hits a spike for whatever reason, and that could be even someone else joining then it could kick them straight from the server so generally we will we'll leave that uh, that empty an example might be a ping of 200 ping of 200 is a bit uh, a bit high although GP bytes tends to make it work okay the replays and things like that are absolutely terrible next you've got a white list and a black list okay so what you can do with a whitelist is you can specify all the people who are allowed to join the server um, we'll talk about whitelists uh, more specifically in a different video and blacklist. a blacklist will list people you specifically don't want to join so say it was open to everybody but one person you hated you could create a blacklist um, and if you only wanted 10 specific people on your race uh, and nobody else then create a whitelist um, polls disable that's quite obvious really what I've just talked about here with the admin password uh, if you disable the polls then nobody can change sessions not even by vo voting set it to one if you want to disable the polls location uh, that is a simple, simply information about the server location. Yeah, where are you in the world? It doesn't actually do anything other than tell people. 
um, message of the day you can put in there whatever you like of course like um, welcome to my server oh, what I like to do is I like to put a link in pointing people to the main forum uh, because that's where they're going to sign up for most of the racing next along we've got the export section now at the end of a race you can get the server to automatically send a set of results over to um, to be stored on the server ready for you to pick up and display for everybody to see ok results HTML or XML if set it will automatically export the results to the end of the thing so we want HTML in there or I do anyway well, I want to use HTML because that allows me to um, cut and paste the window and provide it as a picture to show people the results online the directory is what we've um, created up here now we've created a new folder called results okay. just just make that clear I'll delete that okay so what I want is a directory now where these results are going to be saved to so what I do is I make a new folder simply called results okay and then I tell this script where to save the results so it's E drive in the folder Deddy server in the folder results. Okay, so in here I put E drive backslash Deddy server backslash results. Yeah, simple as that. Then the units I want to use well, I'm a UK chap, so I tend to use UK units number two. Um, you choose that whatever you want relative to where you are uh, the next one you got replays much like the results you can get the server to save a copy of the replay yeah. so we want to do exactly the same thing here we want to create a new folder called replays uh, and in here we want to um, enable it to start with so set number one if set to one it will automatically save the full replay but we've got to specify the directory where to save it to yeah and much like the one up here it's e uh, daddy server this time it is replays okay so now we've got a uh, an a, a an event itself section okay so we can call the name of the event uh, my great race or something like that um, then you can choose the track for example Victoria just write it in there we'll do it as well just so you can see oh, no, I'll try and spell it correctly for a start um, then you've got tra track layout or well, track layout something we're not generally using at the moment but it is quite easy um, where you could have for example Snetterton Snetterton has got three different sizes 300 200 100 at the moment GP bytes has got 300 and 200 and to save down on the amount of folders and files that are generated you can actually have the 200 inside the 300 and if that was the case then I could put in here Snetterton version 1 NDS uh, 200 or whatever it's called uh, but generally speaking that's not being used at the moment there aren't enough tracks to warrant having to save files so for example Arsnet is in 300 and 200 two separate tracks at the moment then we've got what bike cat category um, open allows everything uh, but you could just put one two fives, five hundreds, thousands, whatever you want into the category here. So for example I'll put the I'll tell you what, I'll put the Moto three bikes in. Okay. Uh, at the time of writing this of course we haven't got any Moto three bikes but there you go. Nice nice wink wink. Um I wanna make a little note on open. If you use open then 
anybody who joins your server has to have every bike on the server uh, and to, pro to to make sure that the minimum amount of problems occur you should only run bikes on the bike mod on the server okay so bikes that are in the bike mod are likely to be the bikes that everybody else has if you start adding bikes from willy-nilly links on the forum then nobody will ever be able to join it and you'll get a headache trying to sort it all out okay the next section rating well you can no we don't tend to use this at the moment simply because um, the ratings are based on um, certain servers and certain races that are being used and or not races so much as time trials um, so some people have got a score most people haven't um, and all you'll do is you'll limit anyone being able to join in the future of course this will become useful when there's lots and lots of people and all of different skills and um, you know maybe you want the, only want the best on your server so you've got to have this rating of 2000 plus but at the moment not used um, then we can control the weather so if you want it realistic where the server will choose whatever it wants to choose stick a one in you can choose whether it's sunny cloudy or rainy you can choose the temperature and the wind direction and the wind speed all as it says here it's nice and simple stuff um, and you can choose the track condition zero bone dry one soaking wet interesting point here is you could have 0 0.5 uh, so that's a level of wetness between dry and wet um, okay then we've got some more of the assist section okay you can force the cockpit on you can force no aids and you could force um, whether or not you can have fresh tyres every time you go out um, I hope personally that this is going to get expanded so it's rather than just have no aids you can specify what aids can and cannot be used um, the next section is to do the race itself okay so the race section you've got quick race zero or one if you set it to one then it skips all the my, the lesser sessions other than the race speaks for itself not very useful to be honest um, you can set the length of the practice the qualifying the warm-up uh, the sighting lap switch it on or off the warm-up lap switch it on or off um, you can specify how many how, how long the race is for example 100% uh, or you can specify it to use laps instead if you set that to one then it becomes the laps instead of the race length um, for this example I've put in 200 laps um, then an interesting one for the restart delay that's quite important because at the end of the race that will determine how long in seconds it takes for the server to go back to practice or server to reset first and go back to practice so if you haven't got any time in there and the race ends and everybody gets kicked off before anyone's had a good chance to ch have a chat about it okay so I've put 360 in there which will allow um, a good spell of time for everyone to clap each other on the back before the server resets okay so next we've got the pause and save functions what that allows is the pause if you want to pause um, the game for example where you could get to the end of qualification and then pause the game and save that information I save all the qualifying positions um, tire wear and all that kind of information can be saved ready to be loaded again at some future date to carry on an idea of this would be uh, for example running a, an event a qualifying event on a Saturday and then loading it in on the Sunday ready to pick up for a Sunday race not much like how a real week race weekend works okay um, the save function does exactly the same except it doesn't stop the session for example you get to the end of qualifying 
and it will save the qualifying session and all the information but it will also proceed to the race really really handy because if something horrendously goes wrong there and everybody calls out um, or the server crashes or something like that then you can load back in the save and carry on from there yeah really really good tool um, once the server gets well once the servers in general and the game get a bit more stable that that will start becoming very useful okay so how do we use this then well if we want it to pause we have to change it to one okay and specify a pause directory um, now in this case I've created one already and I'm going to call it resume and you'll see why later okay so all I need to do now is specify what where that directory is and you can see I've already filled it in um, in my case it's e dedicated server resume so e deli server resume um, leave that line for a minute I'll talk about that in a minute now save as we've already discussed that needs the same information so to switch on put it to a one okay but always have these different don't have the one and zero ticked at the same time it's one or the other is set to one okay now the save session again will say qualify but it can be any session it's just that I'm choosing qualify and the save directory is exactly the same one we use for the pause okay now coming back to resume so imagine um, we did a qualifying session on a Saturday uh, and then everybody went to bed and then turned up on Sunday ready to, to race we could then load the qualifying positions the tire data the track rubber uh, marbles and all that kind of stuff can all be loaded back in again um, from the file that was saved in the resume folder now this one's slightly different in that you have to specify um, where to pick up the file from okay for the simple fact that it will need the file name that was generated at the end of the save so inside the resume folder there'll be a file name okay so the file name need to be cut and paste into there as well with dot any on the end okay really really important that All right. and then when you run the server the next time it will know that it's picking up the information from here um to load in uh and ready to ready to go again one of the biggest problems with the save and re pause function at the moment is that it only gives a 15 minute window for everybody to join yeah so if you said right we're going to carry on with the race at nine o'clock um, then the, you could start the server at 8.45 and at nine o'clock it will move to race it's if anyone joins after that they can't get in um, that's a bit of a shame that's a bit of a shame I prefer that to be administrator controlled really where it, you just sit there until everybody's on and then you can drive it forward to the race okay so we've talked about that that can be recapped on at some point should you need to and then finally down here you've got an ability to output the times to um, the motor online server okay now that will need specifically setting up um, through uh, Ali Baskins on board on 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 the forum. Okay. Um, basically, you enable this and give him the information, and he can then enable you to have your server times um, going to the leaderboard. Okay, so that's the dedicated in a, in a nutshell.